What is up guys, Lord Respawn here, welcome to another Animal Crossing video. As you can see, I am still very much in the Halloween mood, but in this video, we're talking about the brand new fish, bugs, and sea creatures for the month of November, but I just couldn't take off my Jack costume. I mean, how could you? It's too early. It's the beginning of November, we're gonna rock this for a little while, um, but let's jump into the new fish, bugs, and sea creatures for this month. Uh, we'll start off with bugs. There are three new bugs that you can catch in the Northern Hemisphere. And those would be the Damselfly, as you can see here. Brand new bug, going to come back, uh, going to be here through February. Catch it all day long, pretty easy, pretty common. They're, they're basically all over. Uh, the next one is going to be the Mole Cricket. As you can see, it went away in May and is now back. The key with these is you have to listen for a cricket. Uh, you, you really have to, to, you know, have an ear out for a chirping noise and then start digging with your shovel and you will eventually find it. And then the last one, and some of you guys might not like this, but the tarantula is back. Scorpion left, tarantula's back. It is what it is. Stay frosty. And let's go over to fish. Fish are, fish are fun. Fish are friends, right? So first off, we got the bitterling. Uh, it, it was available right when the game came out. Hopefully everybody caught it, but if not, you have from now until March to catch this uh, river fish. Next up, we have the blowfish. Now this is the first time, if you haven't time traveled, that you can catch the blowfish since the game came out. As you can see, November through February, medium size, uh, pretty easy. I've caught a ton of them already, but a really cool fish and a must-have for your museum. Next up, we have two uh, pier fish, and those are going to be the tuna. As you can see, now until April, make sure you just get your fishing bait and, and hope. The tuna is a little bit more rare uh, than the next fish, which is the blue marlin, but the blue marlin has been in and out since the game released in March, so most people probably have a blue marlin. If not, make sure you catch one of those on the pier. And lastly, we have the football fish. Again, this was only here for a very short time in March in the Northern Hemisphere, and now it is back from November right now until March. Uh, medium size, medium to large size, probably more like sea bass size. Uh, I think it's like 2,500 bells. Not a bad fish to, to catch and, you know, sell and all of that. So keep an eye out for one of those. Last up, we have the sea creatures. First up, sea cucumber. I've honestly caught a lot of these. Uh, this is the first time it's appearing in the game, right? It says April, but, um, as you know, diving wasn't around until like June or July. So I think it was July. So first time we can catch this one, make sure you catch it. I, I've caught a ton of them. Next up is the sea pig. This is like a super, super rare one, extra fast, just honestly kind of annoying to catch at times, but a really, really cool sea creature. Uh, make sure you catch that. Then we have three different crabs that are brand new. We got the Dungeness Crab. This one is fairly common. Uh, I would say the most common of the new crab that have been added, but all day long, November through May, so you'll be able to pick one of these guys up. Next up, we have the Snow Crab. A little bit more difficult, again, all day long, uh, but this is going to be like very, very fast and a large shadow size, so good luck catching one of these. Um, they are kind of difficult, but they look really good in the museum. And then the next one is the same story, Red King Crab. This one's actually more difficult to catch than the Snow Crab, uh, in my opinion. November through March, so you've got some time to catch it. Um, but very fast, large shadow. It's going to take a little bit of practice to, you know, corner it and, and finally pick that up. So that is all the new fish bugs and sea creatures in the Northern Hemisphere. Guys, we're going to jump into the Southern Hemisphere, but if you're jumping off, thank you for watching the video. Let's go to the Southern Hemisphere. Taking a look at the Southern Hemisphere, we're going to go through pretty quick. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, pause the video and screenshot it, do whatever. But brand new, you have the frog, catfish, nibblefish, angelfish, beta, rainbowfish, giant trevally, and the mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi, probably one of my favorite fish in the game. Also one of the most rare fish, uh, so make sure you get a bunch of bait for that guy. Bugs, we have the great purple butterfly, Queen Alexandra's Birdwing, an amazing butterfly. Make sure you catch a lot of them, give it to Flick and get the model, you won't regret it. Same with the banded dragonfly, uh, amazing model. Then we have the pond skater, diving beetle, violin beetle, Rosalia, Batessi beetle, kind of rare, 
get those tree stumps going, and then the scorpion returns. Best of luck with those guys. Lastly, we have five new sea creatures for the southern hemisphere. You have the sea urchin, slate, pencil urchin, the gigas, 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 I don't know, the giant clam, the vampire squid, which is incredible. Highly recommend grinding to get one of these. And then we have the spotted garden eel. So guys, there is all of the brand new fish, bugs, and sea creatures for both hemispheres. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. For more Animal Crossing content, keep it right here. And I will catch you all on the next video. Later.